Well, hi, church. I wanted to reach out to you and let you all know that due to the recent increases in local and statewide COVID cases and the new state mandated regulations for church gatherings, we feel that it's necessary to postpone gathering at our church building to protect those who are most vulnerable in our community. So what this means is that we will not be meeting for in-person services this Sunday, and we've also canceled the reservations for the next four weeks of services. This was a hard decision for us to make, disappointing in many ways, yet another change. We've been eagerly waiting to gather corporately together at our building, and we miss seeing all of your faces as each and every one of you is a unique gift to our church. We feel that God's giving our church an opportunity to grow and mature, and he's asking us, calling us, to be flexible in many ways week after week. Part of the growing process has been seeing couples and individuals across the county open their homes and invite others into church at home gatherings. We've heard so many stories of powerful times of prayer and worship and fellowship, faith being built up in these groups. We're watching the body come alive as members are participating and the gifts of the Spirit are operating. It's been so cool to see and hear. And as we've tried to discern God's will for us among all of the changing regulations and expectations in the last few months, church at home has felt like the strongest and most clear direction we've received from the Lord. So I wanna encourage you, if you haven't been feeling connected to our church lately, This is how God is wanting to bring us together and connect us in. We meet in homes, we spend purposeful time together, we worship and pray and look at God's word together. And this is what God's work looks like in our church today. God's not surprised by the timing of this. He knew we'd be meeting in homes right now and not meeting in a building altogether. There's a work that God's trying to do in our hearts right now that is best accomplished in these smaller gatherings. So if you haven't considered it before, I want you to think about opening your home to host a church at home gathering. It's simple to lead one. You you just invite a few friends, neighbors, coworkers, or people that are close to you that you know. And then you lead the group as much or as little as you feel comfortable. We've made the process for it simple and straightforward. We have a video we can send you where we walk you through exactly what it looks like to lead a group. And we'd love to send that over to you. So if you're interested in hosting a group, just text CCP host to the number 94,000 and we'll send you that information. Well, church, I know that many of us didn't want to hear this news today, but I think that we can all have faith that the greater work God is doing in our church and in our hearts will be accomplished. He is faithful and he is working all things for our good. So we love you. God loves you even more. And there's a saying in Calvary Chapel that's been around for a long time. Blessed are the flexible, for they will bend and not break. As we navigate these changes together, I pray that God would bless you and that we would see him do great things among us.